Hello everybody and welcome to my 79th VBA 2010 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to use the AND statement in your SQL queries uh, running through ADA. Uh, so I've added some more records into my sample database. Uh, I'll save this in my examples folder as uh, sample database 2. Uh, so if you just open up sample database 2 and it will have this information in here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to connect to this database and we're going to bring out all staff where the city, uh, all customers where the city is London uh, and the user type is customer. So I don't want to bring out any staff, I just want to bring out uh, the customers. Uh, this is just an example, it's not actually a list of people, I've made up all the the information um, and feel free to add more information in if you want to have a bit more in there but this is enough to just show you how this works uh, so let's get started the first thing I'm going to do in here is I've just created a new sub in the sheet uh, and in sheet 3 uh, I'm just going to bring through a list of all the customers users IDs and usernames so let's just go back into our code uh, and uh, we're going to first of all dim our SQL string, so our string, and I'm going to create myself a record set because I'm going to need one. So uh, dim rs as object. Uh, remember not to declare it as a record set yet, just to create it as an object, uh, and then later on we will uh, use, use our record set create object. So Let's create our string. So SQL STR equals and then select and then we want user ID, so our field names, and then username and from users and then where and then in here we're gonna put multiple criteria. So I want where city equals London and then we're going to put in an AND and it's very similar to the way we use ANDs in our IF statements uh, or our loops and you just put in an AND and then we put in our second criteria uh, so we want user type equals customer and then that's the end of our SQL string. So very simple, city equals London and user type equals customer. And you can put in as many ands as you like the same way you can in an if statement. Uh, and then that's our SQL string. So that's going to bring through, hopefully, uh, Bruce Banner and Brandy Ball uh, because they both have London as the city and customer as the user type. Uh, so now let's uh, open up our database connection. So call connect database. And if you haven't watched earlier tutorials, I created this method in our DB connection module uh, in uh, tutorial 71. Uh, so if you haven't, if you need to learn how to do that method, go back to the tutorial 71, probably watch a few in between as well. Uh, and then we're going to open up our, create our record set object. So uh, set rs equals create object adodb dot record set. And close that off. We're then going to do rs.open and we want SQL STR DB comp. So uh, we'll send it our SQL string and use the database connection that we have in our connection module. Uh, and then that is going to run. Uh, so once it's run, we just want to first of all test whether it's brought back any records. So if rs dot record count is greater than zero, then and then just else and if so we found no records, I'm just going to 
crows off the record set. Set it equal to nothing. And then call close database. And then that will be it. Uh, let's stick a message box at the end. So message box. No records found. Uh, and then in our top bit, this is where we're actually going to do some uh, work, really. So I'm going to loop through all the records found. So let's do for i equals 1 to rs.record count. And then next i. And then just remember here just to put rs.move next or it's not going to move on to the next record. Uh, and then we just want to fill in the uh, the fields in our spreadsheet. So I'm going to put with this workbook dot sheet sheet free and with Uh, and then we can just use dot cells and then row i column one dot value equals and then rs zero and then just copy and paste this and take the second value and put it in the second column uh, and then after our loops run just copy this from down here and paste it in there. So now, at the moment, we've got nothing in our spreadsheet. But if we run this code, so let's do uh, oh, and uh, maybe not do an F8 because my Mac keyboard is going crazy in Word. So let's just play it in here, play, and go back into our sheet, and you'll see that it's brought through. Uh, Bruce Banner and Brandy Ball, which is what we expected because we had London customer, London customer for these two. This one hasn't brought through because although the city is London, the user type is staff, so that hasn't worked. So if I just recap, uh, we've created ourselves an S a SQL string, connected to our database opened up the connection uh, and run the SQL string to give ourselves a record set. And then we've just cycled through our record set to put it out onto the screen. And just remember that you put your and in between the two uh, and you can have as many of them as you like. Uh, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use OR, which is very similar. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.